Hello everyone. Now one of the most anticipated features of Xcode 12 and Swift UI is the ability to automatically scroll and focus on the text field. I know it sounds like a very basic need, but it was not there before Xcode 12 Beta 3 and you have to calculate the offset of the scroll view and do the scroll yourself. But now with Xcode 12 Beta 3, it does it automatically. So let me show you what we're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and run the app and the app only consists of a vertical stack and a text field. And you'll be able to see the text field right at the bottom. If I go ahead and select the text field, the keyboard is gonna come up, but the keyboard does not really cover the text field. It pushes the text field up which was not there before Xcode 12 beta 3. You have to manually listen to the keyboard focus event and then you have to change the scroll position yourself. So this is a wonderful feature that they have added in Xcode 12 beta 3 and above. What happens if you have multiple text fields? So I'm just gonna copy this text field and I'm going to change this to age age and going to create another state property which is going to take in the age. With two text fields it works the same way. Let's go ahead and run the app. When we run the app you can see the two text fields. I can click on one of those and it focuses on that particular text field and it then focuses on the other one. Very cool. I mean, this is one of the most requested features, one of the most cool features. You can see that the keyboard is no longer covering the text fields. So hope you really like this video and I'm really excited about what else and what other new features Surf UI it comes to the, uh, brings to the plate for the iOS 14 version. If you like to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a course on Swift UI. It's called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. You can see that this is close to a 20 hour course. So it's pretty much covered everything you ever imagined about Swift UI. It starts from the very beginning and then it can take a deep dive into many different concepts, including property wrappers, core data, so if you want recipes and animation on all devices and even a huge section on Surf UI for iOS 14. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate with pedometer and healthkit data and even draw charts using Surf UI. So this is the complete course on Surf UI. I would say if you are interested in this course then check out the YouTube description and you will be able to find many different courses that I have created uh, and I would really appreciate if you try out different courses that I have. But the best way to get these courses is by checking out the YouTube description. You will find the links, click on the link and you'll be able to get these courses. Thank you so much and enjoy the video.